Today I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic website using AWS S3, Lambda, API Gateway, HTML, jQuery, and JSON technologies. So first, uh, let's create our Lambda function. So how to do that? Uh, basically, we need to go to uh, AWS console. Okay. And uh, let's sign in first. Okay. So after we sign, uh, we log in. Uh, we need to. Uh, basically, we need to create lamb uh, lambda function, right? So uh, in the services menu, we have we look for uh, lambda. Okay. Then uh, basically we just click the uh, create function to create the lambda function. So create this button. So here, uh, we uh, for the sake of testing, we we uh, use the sim simplest uh, template, which is uh, this one. Start with a simple hello world example. So we use this template. Okay. So by default, it's selected already. Then uh, function name. So let's say test lambda. Okay. Then uh, programming language, uh, we, we can choose uh, Node.js for simplicity. And then uh, we we choose a uh, we choose or create an execution role. So for this, uh, we need uh, we use a template. So we choose this option: create a new role from AWS policy template. So let's say test role. Then you choose a template. We choose a simple microservice permission. Okay. Then create function. So we expect to create this test lambda function. So this is our test lambda function. Okay. So uh, we so in our implementation, uh, basically uh, we need to change this. So I already prepare our uh, lambda implementation, lambda function implementation. So for this I have this. Uh, implementation basically uh, this function will just return a JSON uh, array of uh, URLs YouTube URLs so we just copy and paste this copy and paste So there we go. We have our we have our lambda function already. So basically, this function will just return an array of URLs. This. Okay. It's a JSON in JSON format. Okay. So the body contains some arrays. Okay. Then save. So after we save, I, uh, I, I think we need to create a, a, a API gateway, right? Yeah. To expose this lambda function, we need to create an API gateway. So 
uh, we go to services again actually from here also we can we can ex we can uh, create an API gateway from here we just add trigger okay and then select API gateway then create uh, we create an API So API type must be a. Uh, we can choose the default one. It is HTTP API. Then security open. Then uh, so the API name is test lambda. We don't need to change this. This is the default. And cross origin sharing. Yes, we have to uh, in uh, take this one. then add so the name of our API is test lambda API okay so add so after we created our a uh, API gateway let's check first the details so this is uh, the URL we can test if it's uh, working copy the URL and paste it here so there so this is the array of URLs okay so it's working okay then after that um, uh, we go to uh, services uh, API gateway we need to configure something So this is uh, the one we created just now. Test Lambda API, right? We go to course, CORS, configure. So basically, uh, For access control allow methods, we choose uh, we can choose asterisk all. Then for this uh, access control allow origin, we choose also asterisk. Let's save. Okay. This uh, we need to do this so that uh, uh, we can call our. Uh, API gateway in our using uh, jQuery JavaScript. Otherwise, if we don't do this configuration, we will uh, basically the AWS uh, service will block our uh, JavaScript. So we need to do this configuration. So after we do that, we need to create our HTML page where we call our uh, API gateway to execute our lambda function so I have a template here actually I have an eight, uh, it's the simple HTML here you can just upload the you can just upload this to our s3 bucket so basically what it does uh, we create a drop down here drop down menu to choose the the URLs then this I uh, have an iframe here to show the video then the, we need a uh, jQuery library to uh, call the Ajax function so we have uh, Ajax call here so in our Ajax we call our API gateway this is the one we key uh, uh, we, uh, we need to change this one we need to go back to our uh, API gateway test lambda okay, we go 
lepas tu lambda lambda test uh, lambda right then API gateway and we get the we get this uh, URL this is the API gateway for our lambda so we copy this URL and paste it in our HTML page so we need to change this one Delete this one copy the one we created just now so this is the test lambda that we created this is the API gateway okay so once we uh, put the correct URL so uh, once uh, this is ex uh, successfully uh, executed it will retain uh, the URLs actually this is an array of URLs we need this basically this uh, array of URLs to populate our drop down so this is our uh, code to populate a drop down so we pass the array of URLs then uh, in our drop down we get the drop down then we we load all the URLs in our drop down so that's why we have this code to load our URLs into our drop down menu it's okay then we also have this code to uh, display the video once the user select the URL from the drop down menu so basically this code will display the video okay so we save this uh, HTML page test web page okay once we s uh, saved our once we have our web page already then we can go back again to our uh, AWS console to uh, create a s3 bucket okay we need to create s3 bucket yeah create the s3 bucket to, to upload our uh, web page so again we go to web uh, services menu and look for st so if you don't have a uh, s3 bucket you can click this button to create the s3 buckets but in my case i since i already have i i will i don't need to create i don't need to click this button so we just go inside the s3 bucket then upload the web page that create uh, we created just now okay and select the test uh web HTML this is the one we created just now we upload it click upload okay there we go so this is the, the one we just uploaded so we need by default it's not accessible to public so we need to uh, make it accessible to public we choose the make public from actions drop down menu make public click make public button so that's it so we can test it we go this we copy the URL okay. so this is our website URL paste the URL here oh, there we go so this is our dynamic website so for example we select uh, this one see it will change uh, it will retrieve the video from YouTube server okay. so that I think that's about it thank you